Hello guys, uh, I'm gonna make a um, long video because I haven't made any videos for YouTube in a while but I will explain why in the in the end of this video so this video is I'm going to talk about Ukraine war my thoughts on it I also want to share the summary of what's going on in Ukraine right now so what's happening is it's a long history between Russia and America. Uh, so they had a cold war between the two countries after World War II. And during Reagan time, President Reagan, he made an agreement with President Gorbachev from Russia to put an end to the cold war. So the agreement was that NATO, NATO, American backed military organization, does not go to Ukraine. So, if there is a peace, then Ukraine is taboo. You don't put NATO there. So, America agree, Reagan agree, and so the peace is there. After that, Gorbachev left office. There was a place by Boris Yeltsin. I think and um, they had a peace a long long peace moment and Russia Soviet Union broke up you know even though it's a peaceful union uh, America took it upon themselves to bring democracy to the Soviet Union and broke up the country basically that's how uh, brought up the risk of the angry. A lot of Russians were angry, including Putin, the current Putin president Russia. He saw the Russian broke up by American in the guise of democracy. So um, Boris Yeltsin ruled for a long time, and during his time, Russia really went down. But also the rise of oligarch. Oligarch is the uh, 1%, the T20, the 1% of the Amer of Russian economy, Russian rich people rise up during Boris Yeltsin because he was a lot, there was there was a lot of freedom. Even though the, the, a lot of freedom in terms of Russian freedom. And then Putin came back into power and put his foot down to you know, become a very strong man. So that's basically a very short Russian history in the 20th century. So Ukraine was involved in this because America said, okay, we don't put NATO. The current war is happening because under, Put under Biden, they made a big mistake, but I think it was not a mistake. It was on purpose to break that agreement and build and bring NATO to Ukraine. The moment that happened, that happens, Russia attacks. Russia went into Ukraine. So that's the start of this war. Now here's my, my thoughts and view because it was such a shocking war. And Malaysia, the country that I'm living with, have very good relationship with Ukrainian and Russia even though they are separate, but we also have very good relationship with them. I think a lot of Ukrainian and Russians are here in Malaysia. So when the war happened, uh, I think it was a bit shocked because nobody believed that there could be a war, that Russia would actually invade Ukraine. Yeah, that was a, that was a quite a difficult, not difficult, but what they call it, in a very anxious time in Malaysia or anywhere in the world where people are being friendly with Ukrainian and Russians. So they have a problem with that. But behind all of this war, I believe it is the plan, American plan, American plan of expanding their reach and economy. You know, because I think Ukraine under the President Zelensky, he wanted to bring in NATO, uh, NATO on his 
on the land causing Russian to attack him, attack Ukraine because he's so confident that America will back him up, which, which America did. But he, America discussed with Zelensky about the war and I think Zelensky he thinks the war will be a very short war because America will come in, Russia will be very afraid and he thought it would be a very short war but it wasn't. Despite whatever America is trying to do right now in terms of publicity, in terms of support, support. But the reality is the world is not behind Ukraine 100%. The, the world doesn't need a war now. That's why nobody cares. America cares and I think the reality is hitting Ukrainian now. Because Zelensky is now realizing this war is a mistake. One, I think one the biggest reason why a lot of the a lot of country is not does not support this war is because we just came out of a pandemic of a COVID pandemic. So what happened? The economy in all the world <coughs> across the world is just recovering you know people are having their jobs taken away you know losing losing their jobs and now getting new jobs people are more focused on rebuilding after the covid pandemic you know the reason why a lot of people doesn't realize this kind of thing a lot of people in power because if you look at the, if you just Google this, during the pandemic, the rich people in the world, the rich businessmen, rich corporation, they made a lot of money. You can read this, why their corporation makes a lot of money during COVID. Now they are studying it. Why? Why did they make money? When people are losing their job, blah, 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 people are working from home, economy is, stay, economy is back down. But corporation makes a lot of money and they are studying it now but for corporation for the rich people and their families all this higher up power structure making the decision about how oh, let's start a war for example this group of people thinks the world is like the world they live in this is nothing economically it doesn't happen economically the rich become richer during the pandemic so they never they never realize about rebuilding for them, it's nothing to do with rebuilding. It's just life getting better and better. So they suggested this kind of idea to somebody like Zelensky and to the all this global military complex. Let's start a war. Don't worry, everybody will back you up. That's how they got in their minds that everybody will back you up, will back Ukraine up. The war supposedly should have ended like very short war because they think people are just not paying attention to it. Because they are, people are rebuilding their life, their countries. Now, there is a rumor about recession in happening. Recession is happening. You know, not only that, um, you know, distribution problem across the world. Because a lot of people lose their job. In terms of distribution, the, the most important part is the people, truck drivers, people who work, you know, blue collar, because they need to transfer things from one point to one point, people to dig up, dig for the minerals, to build up all of these phone, battery, cars. They need, what, they need the black, apa, the blue collar, but the blue collar lost their job during the pandemic. You see, so the world is trying to rebuild back that kind of distribution lines, trying to build back the economy. So to create a war at this point is crazy and it's created by all of these rich kids, rich people who are grown up in the 1% that never lost money during the COVID. They only make money. They don't know the world is, the world is in, the, in the midst of rebuilding. 
so many nobody can help nobody no no one across the world can pay attention to whatever is happening in ukraine now what's 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 going to be worse now since america america did uh, this like dumb dumb kind of blockade they block all trade from going back going in and out of russia and then they block everything because america is so far away right now the problem in europe is coming this winter is coming soon all of the gas that comes from russia is blocked russia is blocking them oil gas all of that europe needs europe needs all of that to come to maintain themselves during the winter america doesn't have to do that so now europe is in trouble Europe is in trouble and the people realize it. This war is causing hardship on the people of Europe. They will not, I think what, Germany, for example, German, now they can't even open their electricity. They have to be, they have to bury, up, um, they have to, what do you call that? Quarantine, uh, not quarantine, but uh, don't, uh, they would have to allow certain usage of electricity. They having problem because the worst problem is, okay, Germany used to have nuclear, nuclear reactors to to electric to to support the electricity needs of the Germany, the German people, and then the government at one point decide that okay, nuclear is dangerous. Okay, so they put us they they turned off all of the nuclear, nuclear reactors nuclear plant to that provide energy to Germany they turn it off no longer it's no longer operational crazy isn't it and then they get the fuel to 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 run electricity in Germany and most of Europe comes from Russia now they're having problem they have to ration how they use their energy now they're having problem Zelensky now is in the, I think, regretting the whole war. They are regretting the whole war. Because no matter how much America says that, you know, we will support you, American, American people will not go to war over Ukraine. Americans have had it. Americans, it's like people across the world also, they are rebuilding the economy. Not the these people. The majority of main people, majority of people, is trying to rebuild the economy after the big pandemic, which is still happening. So the war in Ukraine is a failed project by the American businesses. I mean, to be honest, like I said earlier, the one percent, the military industrial complex, all of the big companies that control the military. The rich people, the media controller. That's why they're supporting this war. Interview, asking the media to interview Zelensky, you know, to hype up their profile. Nobody, nobody supporting them. Now in September 2022, nobody supporting them. The media, for example, Twitter it was so supportive that they had like uh, on the trending feed. What is the uh, latest happening in Ukraine? To show their support, that, oh, everybody in the world is supporting them. People are asking, why is no, why is there's no latest news in Yemen? They don't realize, you know, what is happening in Ukraine has been happening to Yemen, Yemen for a long time. Nobody give a damn. Nobody give a damn about U Ukraine. But the ideas behind this, if I tell you, if you read. All of the decision makers, they are like zoom, boom, not zoomers, boomers now. They are rich people. Rich people in the American government is deciding all of this. This, the children of rich people, the children of rich people in America, the one percent, as they go into show business, they go into New York uh, stock exchange, New York business, or 
they start going to politics because the politics in America is for rich people only. You got a billionaire for a president. Now, you, if you are rich, you can become a president. That's the main idea now in America. So the rich people, children, are now all, all in the government. So they are giving out this idea, okay, let's go and have a war in Ukraine. These rich kids, let's have a war in Ukraine. No worry. They never think beyond three steps ahead or five steps ahead. They keep selling this because one, like I say, they are young people, rich people, families controlling the government. They think they they keep they think the world will back Ukraine. It's not. When winter comes, Europe will rebel. Even now, the people are already fed up. Because the the most affected will be the poor people. No, in cold European, when Europe goes winter, is very miserable and cold. Zelensky will, will is frustrated. He will be, he is regretting the war. Do you know why they are, Zelensky was like convinced? They keep pushing this day, meaning the American, Americans, young, young boomers, the CIA, young boomers, they have this idea. They sold it to you, to Zelensky. It will be like, um, Afghanistan kicking out the Russian. This is the core, the core sales pitch to Zelensky to, to, to provoke this war with Russia. All Russia asks is, okay, don't put NATO on your, don't bring NATO into Ukraine. But Zelensky, because he's inf infected by the Russian propaganda, uh, by the American propaganda, we don't care. Bring, bring NATO to Ukraine. The war happened. It's just a simple thing. Why NATO is there? This is the, this is the evil of America. If NATO is in Ukraine, the military complex, the one that built all these weapons, will get contracts, will get money for their business, their war business. Because NATO military have to be top grade, top standard. So when NATO enter Russia, enter Ukraine, they need to build the military there. Who makes money? The American military complex will make money. That's why America support NATO. America supports NATO to make money for American companies. American weapon companies, they make money with NATO build. If NATO expand, they make money. That is the good, the main purpose of American pushing Russian and uh, pushing NATO into Ukraine. Just to make money for these military companies. So the idea that, okay, start sell the idea like Afghanistan 2. Afghanistan part 2, Ukraine. So Ukraine can kick Russia out, just like Afghanistan did. Okay, there's a lot of weird things that a lot of people doesn't know. There is a difference between Afghanistan and Ukraine. Afghanistan have this Mujahideen, have Muslim, they have Islam. In the tenets of Islam, they are willing to die to kick out all of these invaders in Afghanistan. This is not Iraq, this is Afghanistan. People have said nobody can survive in Afghanistan, you cannot conquer from Afghanistan. Do you think Ukraine can do that? No, Ukraine cannot do that. Do you know the source of Ukraine income? Sex trafficking, all the beautiful young girls that you see in porn, that is going to modeling in other countries, all these young people, all these young girls come from Ukraine. They are very, they're in sex industry in Ukraine. 
So hi, tell me the sex industry in Afghanistan. So Islam, pro Islam in Afghanistan is why the Afghanistan can kick all these invaders out. I know a lot of people doesn't believe it, but as a Muslim, and I'm telling you this, it's a fact. For many Muslims in the world, they know it. This is not Iraq. In Afghanistan, the strength of the Mujahideen is Islam. You cannot find it in Ukraine. Ukraine, there's no people drink. People fuck everybody. There's whore. There is an open world prostitution in Ukraine before the war. You know all these sex offenders, they go to Ukraine to fuck children there, you know? The sex, sex industry. Do you know, the people say it doesn't matter, but I have to tell you, Zelensky, before the war, he was an actor. Right? He's a comedian. Do you know why they put comedian in government? They purposely put government in the, as a president, a comedian, actor. Do you know why? So that the, the, the government become weak. And the, all this mafia can control the country. Ask me every, ask, just Google Kiev, human trafficking. That's how Ukraine was run by the mafia, by this, this agenda, just to prostitution everywhere. They import all their women and export all their women. People go to Ukraine to enjoy themselves, to Kiev. Huh. So, how are they going to copy Mujahideen? How are they going to copy Mujahideen? You know what Zelensky did now? Now, now he put uh, the country under under emergency rule. Can you imagine? After how many years? Um, uh, the start of the war, he doesn't. Now, only now, emergency. Cannot go out. Previously, people, the mall, supermarket still runs. What kind of precedent is that? It is during a war, but supermarket can open. You know, people can have to go to work. This is during the war. Because the country is not controlled by the president or anybody in the government. When people ask, people ask Zelensky, if it's a war, why is the supermarket open? You know the people, the this Ukrainian on Twitter can answer, can answer for you. Oh, then how people can get food? During a war. Because the government is not experienced. He's a comedian actor. The reason he was put there by the mafia. Because they don't want him to get involved with their business. He, he got big headed. And joined with the Americans. In creating this NATO bullshit thing. That's the reason for this war. It's because NATO. I mean it's nothing life and death. Don't bring NATO into Ukraine, there's no war. Now Zelensky is going, is very worried. He's very regret, he's regretting the war. He's regretting the war. All this fantasy, oh you can kick them out like Mujahideen. Nobody does research. Do you know the strength of the Mujahideen in Afghanistan? It's Islam. You don't have that in Ukraine. The soldiers will run away. Ukraine, Ukrainians, Ukrainians, this is how crazy the government is. Like I said earlier, the mall is open, supermarket is open, farm, farmers still do the whole thing. He's during a war. Now, now, he, only now, Zelensky, now saying, okay, now we have emergency in the country. Nobody is allowed. Not only that, just recently, okay, conscript. Conscript, force people to join the army. After
after the war has started. This is how because before the war has started, before the war, what should have what they should have done before the war started, because the war is controlled by Zelensky control. He provoked. He could, you should have prepared, conscript people every, conscript the guys, the men, to be in the war. For the old people, everybody who sick, leave the country or push away outside. But the economy is still running. The 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 supermarket is still open. Cinema is still open. What kind of crazy thing that is happening there under Zelensky? Now they off lah. Now they realize it's not Afghanistan, baby. Now they realize American soldiers, American don't even want to go to war over Ukraine. Now they realize it. Can you see the crazy part of it? They will lose. They will lose against Russia. I'm not saying this because I hate Russia. I hate the, I hate this president Zelensky. Putin is crazy. He, I'm not a fan. I'm just talking logically. Calculating, you calculate, this is winter is coming. All of this place will not have, I want to see, they started the war earlier in the year. I want to see how the winter, the winter war affect them. Ukrainian doesn't have a history of our military. They used to be with the Russians. Man, it's a country that is run on the sex industry. Would you, what kind of men come out of that? Do you think the men are heroes? So many people will die because of this war. When winter comes, so many people will die. The most craziest part, I was thinking like, the mall, they, they accuse Russians shooting them, shooting the mall. My question, people were asking, why is the mall open during a war? They are not prepared. Because there's a clown there, it's a president. Zelensky is an actor, he's a comedian. But the worst, worst part, the worst group, to me, the evil part of this war, is America. The American group, that is a project that is pushing Zelensky to start this war, to bring NATO in. You know what happened to them? Nothing will happen to them. Nothing will happen to them. For them, they have a meeting at night. Okay, we end the project. We stop the project. Then they go home. Nothing happens to them. But Ukraine, already, already broken, man. Do you think they will do it? They will help Ukraine? Europe, do you think they will help Ukraine? Europe will not help. Because now they will now because there's no gas from gas from people who are who are not living in the wet, the cold countries from Malaysia. Oh, why is gas important? Because the gas heats is is used to heat up their homes in Europe, and most of them come from Russia. Okay, that's a, that's a short interjection. People doesn't know. That the mastermind is in America. They are forcing this Zelensky into a stupid kind of project in experiment. And they sell it, oh, you'll be like the Mujahideen. You see, they, recently they are America saying, oh, we provide all the weapon, we provide all the trainings. They think, America think, they can do like Afghanistan. Like they train the Mujahideen. What they don't understand is in the Mujahideen in Afghanistan, there's Islam. That is the backbone of their strength. There's no woman, there's no woman, there's no sex thing in in there are prostitution, I'm sure, anywhere in the world. But openly, they don't allow all the sexy, sexy stuff. The men are very pious. All these Mujahideen, they don't care. I'm not saying they are perfect, but I'm talking about to compare Mujahideen and Ukrainian soldiers. What is a loser? This battle will end 
badly for the Ukrainians. I can tell Zelensky is regretting it. America is not coming. America, they have this idea that America will bring troops in. They are not. Europe, no way. Europe will not go in. Because if there's a nuclear war, if if you, um, if Russian drop a nuclear war, you think America will be affected? No. Germany, France, all these rich, rich countries in Europe, they will be affected. That my my vent about all this stupid war in Ukraine. Because the the, the secret behind it is run by somebody in America. There's a group of people in America. They are from rich family. They are they got their job into the CIA, into the government, into the administration. Rich people, rich kids. They got all these brilliant ideas. Let's do a project about Ukraine. Those people, those people in America, they will never get hurt. But people in Ukraine, people in that region, they are the victims of this because the NATO doesn't need to expand. Thank you guys for watching.